Today on Garden Fork, the Tool Bucket Tour. Tour, it's hard to say. Here we go. This is the Tool Bucket, ow, I take on really any job I have, whether it's at a client's house or at my own house, it is the go-to, it's like this, it's the omni bucket of stuff that I've built over the years. I got the, um, I think it's called a Bucket Boss or Bucket Buddy uh, liner for a five gallon bucket, maybe 15 years ago as a present, it's held up really well. I just, we're gonna go through it and show you what I use. Let's start off with the big guns. Um, Obvious things like a cord, a cordless, cordless, cordless drill. I keep a couple of these around. I keep the battery packs charged. There's a charger in the basement. Hammer, fall outs, fails. Hammer, solves a lot of things. Knee pads, these are key. I used to crawl around on floor, crawl around on floors for years without knee pads and I'm paying the price now. So don't cheap out. Test them out at the store and see which ones are best. I like the soft ones. They also make some hard ones that don't seem to work for me uh, with some nice snaps in the back. The Velcro for me wears out. Hacksaw, this is a cheap knockoff because I lost my good hacksaw and I didn't want to lose another one. So I bought a cheap one. A couple of extra blades in the bucket. Laser level. Um, I've really beat this thing up and it still works, so I really like that. It's also a stud finder for metal and um, wood studs. Very handy when you're hanging televisions, heavy objects like that. These gloves, they sell them like a dozen in a pack. Uh, it's a cloth glove that's been dipped in vinyl and they work really well. As you can see, um, I've been staining and I have used these gloves and my hands don't have stain on them. Learned over the years. Multiple um, tape measures. I have really good ones, but also buy some cheap ones because they get lost. Oh. A speed square. This is really handy. We're actually going to do a whole other video about all the different stuff, these numbers that are on a speed square and how you can actually use this for all sorts of cool stuff. Good tin snips are really important, handy to have. I have uh, two drywall saws because I lost this one and so I bought another one. Uh, this one's nice because it cuts on the push and the pull, kind of like a pruning saw. And I've used this to cut through plaster lath, very handy, also for cutting through drywall, but these are, these are like a lifesaver. You should keep these in your car, actually. Torpedo level. This one has magnets on it, so it will stick to metal like this. Nice, huh? Extra hacksaw blades. I really splurged on this but a, I think it's called a mini hacksaw. This is a really nice one, but it allows you to get up into tiny little places and cut off bolts or screws or nuts. Or if you need to like lift off a piece of trim and it's got, it's been brad nailed it in, you can slide this under and cut off the brad nail and pop it off. Very handy. Drill bits, I have two cases of drill bits. Here's the second case. Spring clamps are handy. So I, you can't, well you can see it. I have a giant drill bit in here that is great for holding uh, things that have straps on them, like safety gear and light gear. This is banding, it's very handy for hanging stuff. It just, it comes in handy. This is a, what, like a 24 inch drill bit and there's more banding stuck on it and more light stuff. Three quarter inch long, wood boring bit. Uh, I don't bore through wood with this, I bore through walls with this. If you need to run electrical electrical wire or uh, computer wires or something, this is kind of a sacrificial tool for going through plaster and lath and uh, wire mesh and stuff and you just jam it through and it goes. More gloves, Teflon tape. You know, it's so expensive, it's inexpensive and really lightweight, so you just keep it. I don't know where I bought this, but this thing is really handy. It's like the mother of all chisels, and you gotta, if you have to blow through walls, uh, this is the tool to have. I've used it a lot. I just bought this. Uh, this is, these were on sale, and it's just a little set of like Torx bits and hex bits, Allen wrench bits. 
it was inexpensive and you'll see as we go through this I have several packs of these but you'll be on a job and it's a piece of furniture you have to take apart or disassemble or put together and you've lost the little tool and this stuff these you can put all on your cordless drill it makes the job go much faster all right so that's the interior of the bucket by the way the bucket is also just a great tossing place for all the stuff you're working on if you throw it in here it doesn't get lost it can become a trash bin yes but you clean it out once in a while but whatever job you're working on you have some extra parts you throw them in here and that way they don't get lost and when you're like having to go upstairs or go to a client's house you can unload everything out of your car throw it in the bucket go this is um it's a nut driver and it also holds those little bits like uh, these guys here, very handy, and it is magnetized, so it'll hold screws up, down, and up sideways. Sacrificial bits here as well. This is for, again, going through, I just go through like drywall or plaster, it's handy for hanging TVs or running wires or something. Where did those go? Right in there. Cold chisels, tiny one, wide one. These are called chip brushes. They are just great to have around. You can clean stuff up. If you have to paint a little bit, you can just paint this. They're disposable. I try and wash them sometimes. Uh, you can also use them to baste your barbecue if you want, so you know where it is all the time. Again, little adapters to put different bits on, different nut drivers, stuff like that. Again, magnetized, so I can put this on the end of here. And that makes a very long tool that I can get up into tiny little spots save me a lot. Where did I put the screw bit? Sacrificial chisel. I have a ton of utility knives and, oh, well those aren't the same blades, but they're for a different tool. Um, somewhere in here I have a pack of extra blades for this. This is for another one of my box cutters. These calipers, every once in a while you got a weird diameter. You can just measure the diameter and go to the hardware store, figure out what it is electrical tester you'd be surprised how many times you want to make sure a wire is turned off something you know you can have these kind that touch or you can have the kind that are non-touch i have that as well you can never have enough of these this one's been really beat i think i used it for some cement or something uh they're kind of disposable if you you know if you use it on a job and then you ruin it just get another one this is a little stubby screwdriver that's just saved my life a couple times toothbrush you know just to clean off stuff the six-in-one screwdriver, uh, it's just, oh, you get the point. I buy these, I buy like three or four at a time when they're on sale. They're, you lose them, you've lost it, they're great. A little flashlight, checking out stuff. These two little pockets are the lifesavers. First of all, a whole thing of more uh, Phillips bits for the cordless screw gun. And then, I don't know where I got these, but they are magical. They're also really pretty, but different uh, square head, Phillips, slotted, very handy, and they're long, so they can fit into things. A regular Allen key set and a metric. And then this pocket is even more magic. Let me show you everything I got in here. I've got a couple sets of these. Again, these will fit on a screwdriver end or a six in one or your cordless drill, but various torques, square drive allen key sets these are great to have and they're really inexpensive you see them in the store just buy a couple sets of them keep them in your bucket this side is like plier land the land of pliers handy adjustable pliers uh, more pliers than you think you need or how many pliers you really need these are you know this is a lifesaver this kind of thing here and Little crescent wrench. What I do with my bucket is I put it on a little hand cart here. So it moves around with me, it's on wheels. Very easy to lug around, goes upstairs, goes down New York City sidewalks, goes on country roads. Uh, if you have back issues like someone does, handy to have. All right, that's what's in my tool bucket. Let me know what's in your tool bucket in the comments below. As always, make it a great day. I'll see you later.